Okay, what we'd like to do here is uh, talk a little bit about uh, the pointers that we spoke about in class. So the basic idea is that I can declare a variable of any type. Say, for example, I declare an integer, and I call the integer i, and I, let's say, i with 5. So in the RAM, I get a location, right? The location is given the name i, and that location uh, has an address. Say the address is 100a. So we saw that for every type, there's a corresponding pointer to that type. And so for the, for the type int, the pointer to an int would be called int star. And I can, in fact, declare variables of that type. And so I can say, well, I've got a variable called, uh, say, ip. I call it ip because it's an integer pointer. And um, I can then either initialize ip, or I can simply say that ip gets the uh, address of uh, some integer. In this case, it's going to get the address of i. Now, when I do that, what happens is I get another location in the RAM. This location is a real live location, no less real than the location where the variable i is stored. It lives someplace, say, for example, at 500a. Its name is ip. Now, just as i had been initialized with the value 5, ip has been initialized with the address of i. Well, since the address of i is 100a, so the value of that address, 100a, is stored uh, in an IP. And we, uh, we have a diagram that shows this relationship. We simply draw a pointer, a little address, a little arrow, going from IP to I. And we read this that IP points to I. But in fact, what's going on inside the computer is that uh, in the variable IP is the address of I. Now, one of the things we can do with this is we can dereference this pointer IP. So, uh, we saw already that there is one um, operator, that's the operator uh, ampersand. The ampersand operator takes the address of a variable, but there's another uh, operator, which is the star operator. When I apply the star operator to a pointer, I can only apply the star operator to a pointer, and when I say that, I say, for example, star IP, star IP gives me an alias, right? What's an alias? An alias is another name for, it gives me an alias for uh, the uh, the, the uh, location that the pointer points to. So since this pointer IP points to I, so star IP becomes an alias for I. So this uh, location uh, I has two names. It's called I and it's called star IP. So once I have an alias for it, I can refer to it in two ways. I mean, just like, for example, I got, an a, I got a fellow whose name is uh, Bob and uh, I can call him if he has an alias, uh, let's say called Jim, for whatever reason, I can refer to him either as Bob or Jim. Likewise, this particular location now has a real name, say uh, I, that's its real name, but it also has a nickname or an alias, star IP. So I can say, put something in this location either by using its name I or by its nickname. So I can say star IP is equal to 15, say, and that's going to change the value of star IP or I to 15. Okay, that's the way this thing works. It's really powerful. Um, we also saw uh, what one of the uses of this is in the, um, in the C language if we wanted to write the swap routine, because in C we saw there was, uh, there was uh, only a pass by value from a main program to a function, and there was no reference parameters. So the question was how do we write a swap routine? Uh, we'll take a look at that in the next video.